and we're back to Ports of Call XXL, the Rising Phoenix. After we had uh, a bit of an uh, update to our fleet last time around, uh, right now I think prices are still going up, right? Uh, yeah, slightly up. I, uh, yeah, seriously doubt we can afford a Vista Fjord in time. Uh, before this recession ends and prices uh, start to skyrocket. So, yeah, that's unlikely. We are looking, however, to sell off the remaining uh, trillions here once they deliver their last run of cargo. Faithful servants, but uh, old and slow and small. We're moving on to bigger and better things with the Sea Guardian and uh, much faster things with the Cap San Marco. And uh, also quite average, but uh, larger and faster also in the Anosov. That's a big, big increase in profit margin. Ah, and of course, our new tanker. But we'll see how that pans out. Our previous tanker experience wasn't uh, exactly a, a success. Well, they did have a profit, but not a significant one. So, let's move things on. Oh, Kadeth. An interesting port configuration, I have to say. Huh. Very nice. Never been there. Come on, come on, pick up that cargo, see if we can make it. 29 days, can we make it? Three-day penalty. Uh, how much per day? Only 60,000. I think it's totally worth it. Oh, baby. We're gonna make that trip. We're, even, we're not even full up, but just that cargo is completely worth making the, the round trip over there. So yeah, let's pick that up. Um, yeah, why not? Let's take a quick... Er, yeah. An extra 300,000, why not? Let's not get full up, we don't want to lose any speed. So... Auckland is our first priority, even though Pepite is technically closer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to Auckland, then Pepite, and then back to Australia. A bit of a uh, backwards and forwards, but we really need to deliver this as quickly as possible. So, full up. Enter port, enter port. We need to deliver it as quickly as possible. And you, my friend. Yeah. Ah, crap. Can't even make it under 30. Oh, well. As best you can. Ah, 28,000, fine. Well, it was totally worth it to gain a million, I'd tell you that much. Refuel. I need to be able to go fast. And let's check the Australia cargo market uh, for super fast delivery times. If there's nothing special. Well, I think I can safely say if we go to Papit, something will pop up. In the uh, humongous uh, price. Huh. It's odd that there's nothing popping up right now, but from experience, we know that there will be at some point. So let's go there. Maybe we'll even have to lay it up. Just to not miss an opportunity. Uh, should we get there super fast? Why not? It doesn't really spend. Uh, yeah, it doesn't use that much fuel, even at top speed. A little puppy there. Trellion. We don't need to refuel. It's our last trip, right? Yeah. So, Bagnol now. Take an escort. Paranago to Bagnol. How much fuel left? Uh, I don't have to cross the Atlantic back to the Caribbean, I think. So... Do that.
Ooh, you have to pass that. Pass through it, man. Just pass through it. Can repair on the way. You can refuel. And anything good to pick up. Not really. So let's check the cargo again and Port Headland, yeah, as expected, and pretty long delivery, yeah, so let's go to Port Headland, I guess. And more Port Headland, more Port Headland. Brisbane, ah, interesting. To duress, that's in uh, Albania, Greece. Do we have that much capacity? Oh, damn it. Did I reserve something? I don't have the capacity. Yes, I did. Well, it's a long delivery time, so some ship will come around. Yeah. Damn it, didn't check. Uh, I thought I had a Sea Guardian here, not an Anasov. That's why you need the damn name on top, so you can check. But you didn't. Okay. Ah! January 1st. Yeah, you get to Port Headland. And let's see all the new fresh models here. So, any... No. Oh, Polna Bay Ferry. One passenger ship. Let's go see that. Polna Bay... Wow, is that super expensive? Why is it so? Uh, well, 1500 passengers, but. I mean. Okay, that is even more expensive. Granted. But something like the Rhapsody has more than half capacity and doesn't carry cars. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, maybe it's not such a bad ship after all. However, super expensive. We cannot afford that, or even close to uh, that. Any tankers? Not at all. Ah. So Triumph, Northfjall, MSC, Venice, Sicily, Marino Express, Lafayette. Jolly Esmeraldo and Jolly Arantione? Arantione? Hmm. Eagle Express, Canmar Bravery. Bravery, Indemex Mumbai, and the Pacheco. Uh huh. Okay, well, let's check these babies out. Uh, so, Triumph. A couple of reefers, but not many. It's fast doesn't use that much fuel but capacity isn't all that great either and it's quite expensive for the um, the price so Northfjall MSC uh, is the Northfjall a special ship yes it is I see a, a sort of a car transport doesn't carry all that many. It's tiny. Well, 100 meters in length, but relatively speaking, tiny. Oh, and here are the other... Uh, oh, they're specialized. A livestock carrier ship. That's interesting. For the Port Headland runs. A bit too specialized. Hmm. Charlie's Meraldo, another car transport one. Okay, a little bit larger, but still not great capacity. And the Grigio came last year. There's a new ship. Ah, some sort of a competitive design of car transport ships. Interesting. Huh. Okay, well, not what I'm looking for. Uh, MSC Venice. Quite small, quite expensive. 
not many reefers. Sicily, again, a bit larger, but still not exactly huge. Quite fast, not any reefers to a, in a significant degree. And it is not exactly cheap either. Hmm. The Lafayette, even faster. Uh, now we're starting to get somewhere. Fair amount of reefers and capacity is pretty decent. It is a bit on the expensive side though. But for the speed, I mean, this could, uh, this has, has almost the same capacity as the Cat San Marco. Hmm. But it can also make deliveries uh, of larger quantities on top of the reefer. Uh, yeah, but I mean, if you're doing, yeah, reefer express runs, it's not like you're carrying extra cargo on top of it. You wouldn't have the time, I'd, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about this one. Uh, it's quite expensive. So, Indigamax Mumbai. It is quite fast, not huge. And the ratio of container to weight is slightly concerning because I tend to try to keep an eye on the ratio and it, if it's less than 20 times the tonnage compared to the container count. So at least 20 tons per container. It can't carry full loads of containers if the cargo is very heavy. Like, uh, I don't know, weapons or... I don't know, something heavy and dense. So that might be a concern. You might not always be able to uh, have the full container count before you run out of space, essentially. What else? Eagle Express. Uh, okay, much more expensive. Slightly larger. But again, container count to cargo. Is all no? This one is a this one's on par. This one's yeah. These, however, these worry me. These only perform for not very dense cargo. Was the Venice like this? No, this was fine, and this was great. Yeah, yeah. These uh, others appear not yeah not so convincing uh, on my book. So um. What was it after the uh, Lafayette? Eagle Express, Kamar Bravery and Bravery, right. So, Angle Eagle Express, Kanmar Bravery. Okay, now this is not very expensive. And it's quite large and fast does use a lot more fuel than the competition round here, but this is a decent ship. This is a decent pickup. What about the Bravery? Slightly smaller? No, it's the exact same model, only with a much weaker engine. But that somehow is more expensive. Because it also has a bow and stern thruster, maybe? Huh. Okay. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe I added this in with a mod. That's also possible. I added quite a few uh, variants and ship models through mod uh, that aren't in the base game. Uh, in fact, you can pretty much tell the difference. Yeah, I think that's... Maybe two different mods. Uh, like when there's a really smoothed out, uh, untextured model like this, this is a base game model. And when you see something like uh, uh, like this, let's see, base game model. Uh, when you see something like this, when you see some grit and uh, color to it and depth and textures, these are modded ships. Uh, yeah, so bravery, yeah. They're a decent uh, option, I'd say. Uh, what else is new? Uh, Pacheco, Pacheco, container vessel. Did we see that? Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, it's a tiny, tiny little container ship. Boy, it's terrible. It really is terrible. And again, 
the tonnage to the amount of uh, this can carry what? Balloons? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it's not going to carry much as is, and the tonnage is ridiculous. And the price, my god, the price for this. Who in their right mind, I mean, for a really specific tailored uh, role in a port that can't accommodate ships longer than 105 meters or something? Because otherwise, who would buy it? Not sure. Uh, oh yeah, let's uh, take a reference point for the prices. Pont Labbé, 104 million. I was pretty sure it was on point. Yeah, we're almost back at uh, the break-even point for our uh, price ship, so we're not getting the Vista Fjord. Prices are definitely going up. Okay, do you have any left? Oh, you do not. So, Trillion 1, you're going to lay up. Ah, shame we had to repair it. We actually wasted some money there. Ah, what the heck. He made sure the crew and the cargo was delivered properly. Oh, rescue. Three days? How far off course are they? It looks like they're just next to us, but sure. Okay, three days if you say so. Looks more like a, I don't know, James Bond scene where they decide to, instead of getting rescued, have sex on the lifeboat. Anyway, um, Trillion 2, wasn't it? Uh, Trillion 2, Trillion 2. Uh, Trillion 1, wasn't it? Mulborn. Yeah, laid up for two days. Okay, so let's sell Trillion 1. Yeah, at a loss, but a small loss. And we can keep the um, ship counter that way. Because we currently have six ships, but we're selling off the Trillion there as well. Uh, oh yeah, clear that for the year. It's 8 million for the year, that's pretty good. Uh, all the others, uh, yeah, let's just count that as the year. Even though they started off uh, a month earlier or something. Okay. Moment of truth. Is there any good cargo to take from Papit? Express deliveries, please. Huh, nothing realistic, because that we cannot make, I don't think. Oh, we could. About half that cargo, and yeah, a third even. Can only make a third of that cargo. Uh, hmm. Is that worth it? It's a pretty good price. And we'd make that uh, just in time. Could try to wait for something better. Ah, what the heck, let's take it. Can make a quick uh, run, it's pretty close, yeah. Can come back rather quickly. That's an incredible efficiency for such a small ship. I think that was a pretty good pickup on our part. Ooh. Okay. I think it'll make up its uh, cost in uh, a few months. Not even a year. Alright, so... Pick up the cargo, we, uh, yeah, that. What else can we take? We're going to Portland, Maine. So... Uh, yeah, let's not take that. Let's take that, I'd say. Or, uh, yeah, maybe we should go to, through the Suez. Yeah, we have the wait for that, so can we make it to Casablanca in 26? Barely. 
maybe with a stop in Naples we won't be able to, but yeah, we'll take the risk. Okay, so Naples. Wonder why they're not crossing the Strait of Messina there, but sure. Aha, uh -huh, almost out of fuel, but that's perfect because we're going down to San Juan as our last trip. Yeah, barely any fuel. I just under 10 days, yeah. Barely any fuel to spare, that's fine. Enough for uh, rounding a small storm if needed. Okay, you need to go full speed there. Puerto Quetzal. Okay, that's a nice pickup. Let's see. Oh, no, no. Uh, if there's anything to go back to Papite, it is worth taking. Oh, wow. Bella one. Can we make it in 23 days? Not really. Damn it. That would be close. Well, it's one day penalty. Hmm. We do really want to go to Papite, though, so. That's where the big fish are. Anything to take it to Papit? No. Actually, let's check the entirety of North America for cargo going specifically to Papit. Port au Prince and New York. Okay, so nothing we can take. Well, ballast it is then. It's a dry run that pretty much cuts our uh, profit margin in two if we don't have anything special to pick up once there, but I mean, yeah, half a million uh, per month profit margin on a tiny ship like this, sounds pretty good. That would make uh, six million a year, yeah, that's much better than a trillion for instance. Ah, oh, come on, we're waiting to dock at Auckland. Let me dock in Auckland. All right, first uh, tanker delivered from the Turingen. Yeah, feels expensive and burning. Let's just uh, cross over from Tasmania to Melbourne and see what cargo's uh, there to pick up in Australia and uh, oil products. Probably the north coast. Uh, San Juan. Okay, go in. Last trillion dock. Oh, come on. Dock already. You're paying penalties. Okay, lay up. Finally. Four days. Oh, well. That's still a pretty good haul. Oh, super expensive fuel. Okay, I need to go back to Pepite. Anything, uh... No, nothing worth picking up right here, but... Okay, Papit. We can take our time uh, on that one. And selling the Trillion, well, prices are going up, so not much of a loss uh, as... Uh, yeah, 29 years old. That's a pretty old ship. Good life, you served us well. Goodbye. And there we go. We're down to five ships. Uh, how's the ranking looking right now? Oh, I think we're uh, again uh, on our way to being well above uh, everyone else put together, perhaps. Let's see. 11, 18, 21. Ooh, 20. Oh, uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. They're keeping up. Okay. 
Ah, okay. Cheap enough to refuel there. Anything good to pick up uh, around these parts? Not really. Anything over 40 is typically good. Anything under uh, 30 but over 20? Eh, if it's in large quantities and it's uh, exactly on the same way you're going already, okay. Anything under 20 that is not oil products? Don't even bother looking at it. Uh, I mean, per ton. Dollars per ton. Uh, yeah, let's go to Sydney then. Brisbane usually has some stuff and of course Port Hedland. Dampier, Fremantle, some uh, some cargo does appear that is worthwhile here and there in Australia. Alright, seven days to Papit. Alright, finally a good place to refuel at least. So, Australia oil, oil products, no matter the destination, what have we got? Oof, that's very well paid, but very small quantities and unbelievable delivery time. So, Dampier, however, uh, that's over our capacity, just under. I think we can reserve that. Dampier to Curaçao, straight in the Caribbean, of course, another oil producing area. So we'll be able to pick up uh, more stuff straight from there. Perfect. That's what we're looking for in a decently sized oil tanker. 40,000... Uh... I can make quick on that. 40,000 uh, at a decent price. 40,000 tons of uh, oil products at a decent price. Uh, no need to hurry, actually. Uh, just under 10 days is fine. Ah, the San Marco is back. Anything good. Uh, okay, refuel quickly. And you can do everything quickly, can't you, San Marco? Pretty sure you can. And wow, wee, wow, 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 wow. Can we make that? Ah, damn it. It's just over our... Ah, that would have been so good. Oh well. 144 is still pretty good. And that I'm... Yeah, that we can make with ease. And we won't accumulate any penalties. Could have got to Bella one. Oh no, we couldn't make that. Yeah, I always forget Papita is so far in the Pacific. Yeah, that even uh, Southeast Asia is far. Uh, that would have been great to Izmir. That would have been great. Oh, I'm stupid. We can make, we can totally make that to Arhus. That's an even better price. Oh yeah. We can totally make that. So, yeah, Arhus. Uh, and there was also, yeah, Samte Rostock, just uh, next door. There we go. Well over a million. Uh, are there any passengers either to Rostock or Arhus? No. No, there aren't. We could take some to Malaga. Uh... How much would that be worth? Barely anything. Not really worth the days in the last time. No. No. So, Arhus. Excellent. Alright. Arhus. Arhus. Here we come. So, San Marco. Top speed. Always top speed with you. 25 tons, 21 days. Okay. Just over 20 knots. That's pretty fast. That's really a, a speedy boat. Or ship, rather. And some didgeridoo in Sydney. All right. Tunis. Uh, that's decent. Let's check if there's nothing better. Uh, 
Oh. Oh. Do we have a ship going to Port Hedland already? Because if not, that is tempting. That is super tempting. I think the Sea Guardian can make it. Oh yeah, we need to go to Brisbane. I forgot that. We need to go to Brisbane. We have cargo waiting for us there. If we can go to Port... Yeah, then we'll go to Port Hedland. See if we can make that cargo. That would be a really good pickup. Sea Guardian isn't exactly super fast, but it's uh, fast enough. Can go 16 knots. That's respectable. That's faster than... Uh, well, that's like... Uh, yeah, a good catamaran can do that, probably. I don't really mean a, a racing catamaran that can, I think, go well over 16, but... Like a cruising cat. Ah, Miyamore music uh, that really is bursting my eardrums. Ugh. Okay, uh, I don't think we can want to load anything and lose loading time. We want to be as quickly on our way as we can straight to Casablanca. We'll just make it. There we go. Okay. Anything good to pick up in Papite that we can deliver with a Sea Guardian? Not really. <laughs> Not really. This is really the uh, domain of the uh, Express Tropical Fruit Pineapple and Melon Delivery. Uh, yeah. Who is going to take this job? Fruit going bad in four days. Across the Pacific. Put them on a plane, if you want to, I mean... And you're not really paying that much. What kind of tropical fruit is it? Must be a terrible smelling and tasting fruit like durian or... But durian doesn't really... Yeah, it's not a native... Uh, hmm... To this area. Okay, let's go to Dampier. Hurry up. Yeah, can make it. Yes, perfect. Another three days. Alright, so that's done with. Uh, yeah, I think we want to risk it. And uh, see if we can make that delivery from um, Port Hedland. If not, there's always good stuff to pick up from Port Hedland. Not too worried about that. So, you be on your way. You be on your way. Hurry, however. Want to check that as quickly as possible. Australia is huge. Sailing. Oh, no, 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 no. I passed through that. Sailing one end to the other is a pretty long trip. Ah, uh, what is that? A refueling platform? Interesting. Not sure. Hmm. Okay, um, or maybe it's a pumping platform. Yeah, not sure. Maybe it's just a, maybe it is just a tugboat? Hmm. Okay, uh, pick that up. That's what we came from, uh, came for, and... Oh, you're going to cross the Panama. I would have thought you would made uh, the trip the other way. Okay, if you think that's worth it. Sure. Is it really that much shorter? Looks like it's pretty much even. But it's a pretty large ship, so... It must be worth it to uh, cut sailing time. Or travel time, rather. I'll trust your judgment. Okay, stopping at damp here. I have to push it a bit further so we're not that slow. Yeah, just over a month is fine. 
A million a month, I'll be happy. Yeah, sure, you can refuel that. And what are we looking at? Uh, Casablanca. Nothing good to pick up whatsoever. Yeesh. Okay. Um, Tenerife sometimes has something good to pick up. Sometimes. Oh, tobacco from Tripoli. Interesting. And tropical fruit from Saldanya in South Africa. Yeah, but a very small quantity, not like Papit quantity. Though Tripoli to Broome, interesting. We might uh, take uh, keep an eye on uh, Tripoli, uh, yeah, Libyan tobacco? Hmm, to Australia. Santa Cruz de Tenerife, uh, again, tobacco to Australia. Hmm. They have eclectic tobacco tastes in Australia. They want tobacco from uh, the Canaries and uh, Libya. Hmm. Okay, well, we learn something every day. There we go, Port Headland. Let's see if it's worth the trip. Oh, mortgage. Ooh, that's uh that stings. Yeah, we didn't have any mortgages till now because we hadn't bought any new ships, but mortgages, uh yeah, you have to take them into account. Always have uh, money in your treasury just for those. A few times a year. I think it's uh, every trimester or something. Every quarter. Oh yeah. Can we make it? No. Damn it. Sea Guardian is not fast enough for this. Yeah. We'd need a, a proper container ship. To go uh, close to the 20 knot. Mark. Sea Guardian is just under that. It's uh, really a bulk carrier. More than anything else. Okay, well, uh, we're going to do res. So let's pick cargo to go to Rotterdam. Anything else in Europe? Uh, Valencia. Yeah, see, it's going our way 20, it's fine. So first stop, the Mediterranean. Uh, go a bit faster than that. Not that much more expensive in terms of fuel. Yeah, in fact, you can go full speed. Why not? A thousand tons uh, times a hundred. It's a hundred thousand. It's not that much. Oh, 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 what is that? Someone bought a... Oh. Two uh, competition companies bought the same ship. DSX Expedition. Interesting. Oh, these guys... Oh no, this is an old one. Oh yeah, remember that one? These guys... Oh, interesting. It's a cargo ship that also carries passengers and quite a... City of Durban. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, City of Durban. Uh, I don't remember seeing that. Oh, yeah. It's a small cruise ship. Really small cruise ship. Does it carry... 
Is it also a cargo ship that just carries... That seems a really small amount of a capacity for such a... Uh, yeah, I don't think it, cargo, it has any cargo capacity at all. That's not very good. These guys, oh. Oh, yeah. These guys, however... <laughs> seems like the uh, settings for a cargo in the hold uh, overlay for the waterline is slightly off for this expedition. It's uh, sort of floating. <laughs> it's like, like a hovercraft. <laughs> uh, okay. Hovering notwithstanding, uh, it seems like an interesting pick. CSX Expedition. Uh, the Trillion is a... Yeah. It's a fan uh, favorite. CSX Expedition. Is it a new one? I don't remember seeing it in the very, very uh, most recent ones, but... Yeah, it's fairly recent. 9 million is fast. Decent capacity, though not much in terms of tonnage compared to the number of containers. It does use up quite a bit of fuel for the size of the ship, though. Yeah, the speed kind of makes up for that, I think. Yeah, not a bad pick. Actually, not a bad pick. A bit on the expensive side for that size, but still. Ooh, you're doing really bad. Okay. An Adelissimo. Oh, these guys. Ooh, they went uh, heavy on the Andalusia stars. That doesn't seem like a very good choice, apparently. Because that, that's a really old ship, right? Andalusia star, Andalusia star. Can we even buy it anymore? Maybe it's so old that it's even on a really low market. I think it's off market. I think I rem remember seeing them, but yeah. They're so old, they're off the market completely. They were similar to the Adelaide Star, I believe. Unless I'm missing them, but yeah, I don't think they're, yeah. Somewhat similar to this, I think. But not sure anymore. I, I'm pretty sure I looked at them at some point. Yeah, not great. 11,000 capacity. Artyom Stalinov. So, how are you doing? Poorly. You're doing poorly. And you only have crap ships, which explains that. These guys are not doing so poorly. And... Oh, but they only have... Well, they only have tiny, tiny ships. So I'm guessing those are cost-efficient, even if it doesn't bring in a lot of money. The Razonetsky, uh, where did I see that? Is it a high-tech one? No, is it a low-cost one? No, is it a special ship? Is it off-market again? Really, I'm uh, probably... Is it a tanker? Maybe it's a tanker. No, it's not a tanker. Really? It's also off-market? Can't believe it's... It doesn't look to be that old. Maybe it is. Sergei Radonezky. Sergei Radonezky. Sergei Radonezky. We haven't seen it anywhere. At some point, I'd like to have one of these babies. A really big, big cargo ship. The fact that they are a Suez Max worries me, but I mean, just the amount of stuff you can carry in one of these. Sergei Radonesky, yeah, no, it's nowhere. You're a bulker, yeah, sort of the middle of the road, a um, bit slow. Oh yeah, these are also not bad. These are 
almost the same as the Capstan Marco, in fact, but slower, I think. Ah, these are at a discounted price. They're pretty big. Oh. Yeah, um... Yeah, I don't see the Sergei Rodzineski anywhere. Must be off-market already. Ah, now here it is, Andalusia starts. Oh, it's a recent ship. Okay, but it's not good. Well, to be frank, it is quite fast. Yeah, actually, it is quite fast. Oh. Actually, it is quite fast. Hmm, some of the bigger, uh, yeah, oil tankers have uh, come down to the pre-owned market already. Um, ah, yeah, the Capsule Marco is faster than, uh, yeah. However, yeah, that's a pretty good choice, in fact. It can carry more than the uh, Capsan Marco. It's cheaper than Capsan Marco. It's almost as fast. Huh, how did I not see that? Not a bad choice. If you can get the good uh, materials in the ship for transport, yeah, it's really fast. It can make the quick deliveries. Uh, for a fair amount of cargo. Yeah, it's not... Yeah, because it's not limited by containers, I think it can, on average, carry more refrigerated cargo than uh, the Capstone Marco, even. That's not a bad pickup. Not bad at all, my friends. They sometimes have good eyes, I have to... concede. Yeah. Oh well, now that we have lost ourselves in the shipping market, kind of lost track of time. So, prices are still going up? Yeah, really fast. So, not the time to buy ships, uh, but it might be time to sell ships at some point, if it's worth it. If the uh, value goes up faster than uh, the return on cargo transport profits. I mean, if a model is not particularly efficient, then we might uh, be able to make our money back that way. That'd be interesting. Though unlikely a proposition, because you also have to time, yeah, to include the uh, lost opportunity uh, in terms of value, because we're then not going to purchase a ship when they're super expensive, so we have to wait for another recession and prices to go down to replace the ship in our roster. So, yeah, we also have to take lost revenue during that time as well. That, however, is all going to be next time. Till then.